10 minute makeup. Let's go. One compact. This has everything I need minus my mascara and setting powder. I have the window open and it's a little breezy. So we'll see if my hair blows around. I'm going to use just two brushes for my cream foundation. And then I have two eyeshadow brushes. One is for my light color. One is for my darker colors and my brow brush. So keeping it so, so simple, so compact. And here we go. So I start with my highlight color. So this is your foundation color. And I'm using the denser brush side of the bronzer brush. And I actually, I typically just do a few taps into my compact and I bounce between two colors just to get my perfect shade. When I'm more tan, I use the color amber. And when my tan is faded, I line up more so with the color candlelit. So as you can see, that just kind of evened out my skin tone. And I'm doing little stippling motions. And I kind of leave my cheek area open because I'm gonna put my contour there anyways. So I just kind of take the detail brush, go into my contour, and I just wanna give a nice little, a nice little shadow there. It's gonna blend beautifully with my blush always work up don't don't work down then i'm going to dip straight in and kind of tap in here now i'm going to use my blush i have some fall warm colors so I'm going to go into the color lasinga for some pink to match my flowers now i'm going to take the other side of this brush here and I'm going to do my nose contour. I do do my nose contour and lip contour in a different contour color than I put on my forehead and cheek. And the reason being is my forehead and cheek contour color, they're a bit warmer. And this color, Astoria, is just a tad cooler. All of them do have a cool base, so they're not like as warm as a bronzer. You can see the difference. But there's still a big difference between Astoria and Olive. And this is how I get added extra fullness, the look. And then if you want to soften that out, just a little on the top, you can do that. And then I like to accentuate my Cupid's bow. And I a little, I'm a little extra. I do also like to put a little bit of illuminator on my forehead. Okay, makeup part is done. So I'm just going to use one of my old setting powders. We do have setting powder for our compact. I just have my compact full of so many beautiful fall eyeshadows. Of course, if I'm traveling, I put our vanilla dust in our compact because I just want to travel and keep it simple. But while I'm home using one of my favorite setting powders, I love that this gives it like a starting matte look at first, but then you just get a beautiful glow as the day goes on, but you do not look oily. And I left my cheeks I didn't put powder on my cheeks because I do want that youthful glow there. So now I'm flipping to the other part of my compact. This is also what makes your makeup go so fast. It's because you're not scrambling around your makeup bag trying to find everything. And I am going to show you, I do the easiest eyeshadow looks. You might see some people like that list off so many colors. I always and forever will use drift as my upper brow and likely for my inner corner. So when I talk eyeshadow colors, I'm not including that color because it's going to be a set color in your palette. 
so half the time I might use two colors, three tops. I want to make things so easy, not confusing, so that way everyone can feel like they can do this. And sometimes I just use one color, depending on how quick I need my look to go. All right, so look at this beautiful fall palette I put together. I am going to use, so I got kind of a warmish mauve color here. I am going to use this color here called Bubba in my crease. And to just pull it a little bit under my eye there. Go to the other side. And I just tap it in that crease intentionally so when I open my eye, you can see that color. So you want to get it a little bit higher than the actual crease. All right. Now, I'm going to go into this darker color here. This, I believe, I mixed all of them up. Eve. This is like a, a shimmer. I am going to line the outer look with this. And the inner color, this one here is cranberry. And I find when you're applying some of the shimmers, just on that main eye part, it works the best to actually use your finger. All right, and then I'm going to just soften that point there. And then let's go into our drift color again. This is our just one little tap. Connects that brow color. Flip over your eyeshadow brush and to your inner corner. How easy is that? Now it is time to do mascara. Here you can apply if you have, um, if you love doing glue on lashes I someday I want to get lilac street lashes I've done a lot of review on a few different brands and it looks like the lilac street for me will be the winner for multiple reasons affordability but not only that, the fact that with a lot of the reviews and such and other influencers who've tried other other glues and lashes, it, it peer reviews say Lilac Street. Even though I have good lashes because of the collagen that I've used for so long, um, I don't use any lash serum or anything just because I found I didn't need to have that extra expense because the collagen just made my lashes so nice in general. So I haven't used a lash serum in two years. But the convenience of not having to take the two minutes to do your mascara would be so phenomenal. All right, here we go. My ears are so red from blow drying my hair. That is so funny. Okay. What do you think? Isn't that so pretty how it interconnects? Got a nice light blush color, got my fullness on my lips, a beautiful eyeshadow cover in 10 minutes, especially if you aren't talking. So if you love this concept, I have been using this makeup this December will be five years. I have tried other things just because I'm so curious and I, this is like my tried and true. I absolutely love it. So this is the double decker. I love that I can have different colors here, two contours, a bronzer, some blush and illuminator. And then look at that. I call this my fall palette. These are my brow colors. <laughs> and then look at these beauties. I kind of move that over to, to see the name of it. But as you can see, I'm going up and down with the tones. So if you love this, if you want something like this, what I love about like the eyeshadows, look, 
So when this one's done, I can just replace one. I don't have to buy a whole palette to get one color. So as you can see, I go through certain colors a lot faster. And actually some of these I've just had forever. These colors do really last a really long time. And your blushes, your contours, they, they last, last, last. Um, I probably go through two of these tins every four to five months. So definitely a great value. If you want to get started, let me know. I can do a color match for you to get you your proper colors for your look. We can chat um, contour, blush, all the things. If you want me to create some really pretty eyeshadow palettes, that's one of my favorite things to do is mixing colors together. And then I'll set you up with what style brush depending on what kind of coverage you're looking for. We have different brushes. So that is something too that really makes a big difference is what brush you're using depending on the type of coverage you want. So I will help you with everything. Let me know below if you want to get color matched or if you wanna host a makeup party to share this with your friends, we can show people how easy makeup can be. It's literally following the steps. One highlight, two contour, three blush, or illuminator if you choose to do illuminator for a little extra dewy shine and then ash eyeshadows are by preference and so we can just teach people that you can have easy simple beautiful makeup it does not have to be complicated I would love to keep the simplicity in things and I would love to share it with your friends and family if you want to be a host for that let me know as well so comment color match or host and we do offer hostess rewards with our program so you can get a bunch of free makeup and half off items if that interests you to have a class when we can teach people makeup skills all right thanks everyone bye